Tell you what, at the State Fair, my family loves to get a root beer, a root beer float. Oh, yeah. State Fair's gone, but all you need to do is head to your kitchen pantry. Because yeah. it's all there. All you need hey, is right there. It is, because we have kitchen pantry scientists, Liz Heineke, and you are here to show us how to make root beer at home. Thanks for being here. Thanks for inviting me. And, and this is science, really, totally. right? Totally, and I'm going to start by talking about the science to convince you of that. Okay, okay good. Sure. So have you guys, you've made bread before, or yep. you've seen yeast before. Have Absolutely. you looked at it under a microscope before? I have not. No. It looks sort of like little footballs or balloons. Oh. It's a living thing. You know it was alive, right? Mm -hmm. That we knew, And yeah. all living things have to eat, correct? Yeah, yep. that's how that's how the beer that's how you make yeah, beer root beer exactly. or anything, so right? when, or bread, when same yeast deal. break down like sugar and carbohydrates, yeah, for energy, it's called fermentation. Mm -hmm. So everyone's heard of fermentation. And that's and what it is. Two of the byproducts are what? So what do yeast make when they ferment stuff? How, uh, what do you carbon, need to make uh, beer? Carbon dioxide. Yes. And oh, Jason, I know you got what's this. What's the other important thing in beer and liquor? Uh, alcohol. 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 Right. Sure, sure. Of course. So not okay. for root beer though, right? <laughs> no, you know what? It makes a very small amount, but it ferments so quickly and it, makes carbon dioxide. Okay. It goes it's away. inconsequential. Okay. So, okay, to make root beer, I got some of these supplies from Midwest Brewing, but you don't actually need all of these. You what you need it. are clean bottles. You have to sterilize them. You don't want bacteria because when bacteria oh. ferment things, they make lactic acid. Mm. Oh. And acids taste sour, That's right? No good. So yeah. like bad that. beer is kind of sour. So you need clean bottles. You need these caps. You can actually recycle bottles, but these caps that you can buy um, actually will screw on and seal the bottles. Awesome. Okay. You need sugar. You need a soda pop base. So uh, this is root beer, but you could also make orange pop, which my kids would oh. be way into. Sure. They love Delicious. Fanta. You, you boil. And you boil. The you water. boil sugar and water. Mm -hmm. You add some of your soda pop base. You warm up some yeast and water to get it started growing. And you add, you cool this to less than 90 degrees. You add your soda pop or your yeast to it. And that's what makes the carbon dioxide bubble. Okay. Cool. So the next thing, I'm going to let you guys try this. The next thing you need to do is bottle it. All right, come on over. And Kyla. you can do this. Okay. Yep. Here, Kylie's going to stand here and do the pump. You're going right. to do this. All right. I'll do you this. You can use right a funnel here. for this, but this is way more fun. Yep, this is a siphon. So start pumping. Okay. So we are going to oh, pump our root beer to the bottle. Jason, you have to put it at the bottom and push it down. There yeah. it goes. Oh, so you can actually leak. You can actually stop pumping now, and it'll oh. just fill on its own because it's a siphon. Okay. So yeah, atmospheric it pressure is helping it. And it's it's making so a nice bubble. Even this is Well, it's right bubbling right just because you pumped some air into the tube. But we like a little carbonation. Yeah. Though. So you can... So we can take that out, but what you do is essentially you fill the bottle up to the top. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just pretend okay. we did that. We're going to leave this in here. Then, Kylie, I'll let you do this. You oh, screw sure. the lid on All tightly, right. which seals it, right? And this is the finished then deal. You have to let it sit for long? two or three days oh. for the fermentation to happen and the yeast to make the carbon dioxide gas. So go ahead and let's let's try some of this. Ooh, I'm gonna come that's over my here. favorite part. Did you hear it fizz? When you get to sample. So we sampled this. It's not super carbonated. Next time we make mm -hmm. it, we might add more yeast. But this is the that's fun. That's the fun is you can experiment yes. and kind of see what makes the best this soda. This is the great thing about doing okay. science at home. Take a taste, see so, how it yeah. is. Right. So cheers. Let's cheers. have some cheers. Very fun. How great. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. That's very that's good. That's root beer. That's I very know. good. Way more fun when you make so it yourself. So try it with your kids. I love it. Liz, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. Then put the ice cream in there, too. You're going to need to look at this recipe again. Liz has all the information and plenty of other fun experiments at kitchenpantryscientist.com. Just go to wccocom links, and we will get you there.